Hi, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com and today I want to talk a little bit about cable ratings. Um, we're not necessarily talking about categories 5E or 6 or 7A or things like that. What we're talking about is we're talking about the, 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 what type of cable to use in what type of situation. And you have two cables, basically two cable uh, types uh, to decide on. And one is CMR, which stands for riser cable, and then the other one is CMP, and P stands for plenum uh, rated cable. So there are your two types of cables. Now, plenum rated cable is always going to be twice as expensive as riser cable. It's the same exact copper inside, the same electrical characteristics in both cables. The difference is, is the covering on the cable. It's, it's the, the sheath over the cable and it basically deals with fire code. So when do you use CMR and when do you use CMP? Let's take a look and I'll show you. Now remember, we're not talking about the category of the cable. We're not talking whether it's CAT 5E or CAT 6. Um, that's something you need to determine based on your needs. And, and of course, I always say that if you're gonna be in the building longer than five years, then you should, you should cable at the highest possible category you can. But what we're talking about today is the coating on the cable, whether it's what they call plenum rated or what they call riser or, or vertical cable. And um, there is a difference between the two and you gotta pay attention to code. Now another thing to consider is that plenum rated cable is twice as expensive as the other cable. Um, the CMR cable, which is the riser cable, vertical cable, you can use it in a vertical uh, uh, situation, is also called PVC um, or non-plenum cable. Remember that there is no difference electronically between the two. So don't use plenum rated cable where you're not required to use it according to code. So what is a plenum? That might be the next question and you should understand this because remember your local code determines whether or not you need plenum cable or, or uh, CMR cable. CMP cable, plenum or CMR riser cable, PVC cable. So let's look at what it is and what, it, what the difference is. And remember, plenum rated is based on fire ratings. When it burns, uh, it gives off less toxic fumes. It, it, it doesn't burn as easily. So you only need that in certain situations. And let's take a look. I'm gonna draw on the board here. I'm gonna draw it out for you. So let's say this is your uh, building. Um, Commercial building. Uh, we deal with commercial buildings most of the time. It has a little door in there, you know, you got windows and stuff like that all around here. But on top of the commercial building, you have a drop ceiling. You know, you, you can look up. You can see if you got a drop ceiling. Just look up, right? And on top of that, you're going to have a heater and air conditioner. And a lot of times it's right up here on the uh, roof. And uh, of course, the, the air conditioner heating unit is going to have an intake and an exhaust. And so what it's going to do is it's going to have little ducts that go down like this. And uh, in some situations you're not going to have this, a return duct. And what's going to happen is is the air that circulates around in here is going to go through right up here in the plenum area. That's called a plenum area then go into the air conditioner and then be air conditioned or heated and return to the living area. Now in that situation, according to code, in most states, that's where you need plenum rated cable. So what you want to do is you want to find out, is your ceiling being used as a plenum, as an air duct? If it's not, then you can use a PVC cable or also what's as known as CMR cable. It would have a duct that goes like this. And these are air ducts I'm talking about. So a lot of times what you can do is you can actually walk through a building and you can look at the air ducts and you can see if there's one or uh, an intake and an exhaust. There's always going to be an intake and exhaust. You want to see if that place where where the air is sucked up into the uh, air conditioner is it completely open up there or is it duct to the air conditioner? If it's ducted air conditioner, so you don't need plenum rated because you have that extra duct there, the return duct. Now, you know, I can't overemphasize the fact 
that in some uh, areas of the country, in some cities even, they require uh, plenum rated cable even if it's not a plenum rated ceiling. So you're going to have to know that. Uh, I know uh, in some places in California, Southern California, um, they also require anything over three stories that the, the whole building be cabled in plenum rated cable. It's going to double your costs. It's not going to give you any advantage electronically. So, hey, let's take a look at um, uh, the ceiling in my warehouse and see if you can determine whether or not it's uh, CMR or CMP. That it's CMR PVC or CMP plenum. And uh, let's go, let's take a look. Okay, now we're out in the warehouse, the famous warehouse. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. This is uh, the end of our warehouse uh, at Cable Supply. Um, but in this case, it's a great example of a uh, CMR ceiling, a PVC ceiling, a non-plenum ceiling. All of them mean the same thing. So if you uh, look at the ceiling, notice that the drywall doesn't go all the way up to the roof, so it's completely open. So there's no possible way that the top of that ceiling could act like a plenum, a return duct for the air conditioner heater. And notice those silver things coming down. Notice that we have two air conditioners and they also function as heaters. But if you notice coming out of each air conditioner is uh, two uh, vents. One is a return vent and one is a delivery vent. And I'm sure you guys that do heating and air conditioning are laughing at my terms, but I am a low voltage guy for the last 30 years. And so that's what I call them. Um, but at any rate, this is so obvious that this is a, a uh, non-plenum ceiling that it just screams non-plenum. So to put plenum cable up there would just be a waste of money. It doesn't give you any advantage. It doesn't help you in any way. And it just costs a lot of extra money. Um, you know, if you have questions about this or if you need help picking the category of cable for your project or your installation, we have technicians here that man the phones and we're more than happy to help you at any time. So don't hesitate but to call us. And uh, again, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com and thank you for watching our videos. Please uh, follow us on YouTube and like us on Facebook and um, give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this YouTube installment of CableSupply.com.